Hey, Karen, you know, with summer on the way, how about let's making some corn on the cob? Sounds good to me. I love corn on the cob. So what are we starting with? Well, you've got this frosting tinted yellow. Over here we've got a whole plethora of yellow and white jelly beans, and these are fabulous. You know these? Now these are small jelly beans. What are those? Mm -hmm. The gourmet jelly the belly The gourmet jelly, jelly beans. beans, okay. We've got banana flavor, pineapple, coconut, mm. vanilla bean. So that's, you know, just that whole array of them just makes it a nice tropical mix on top of our cupcake. So to start with, I want to show you how to frost a cupcake, okay? I am a more is more girl. I don't want to see you being wimpy and putting just all a little right, bit right. of frosting on top. A nice big dollop because remember in the end I can always take that off. Okay, so we've got our spatula. I'm way this, ahead of you. No, well, this is my favorite tool. This is an offset spatula and if you want to do any type of cupcaking, I really recommend you get this. You can find it at a craft store, some baking stores, even online, but it is a must. So I've got my frosting on top, a nice dollop. And what I'm doing, I'm right-handed, so I'm going to push the frosting in one direction to the outer edge of the cupcake, while with my other hand, my left hand, I'm turning in the opposite direction. So, does that make sense? It makes total sense, and a year ago, I didn't even know where to buy frosting. Karen taught me how to do this. <laughs> so, I've got a nice mound on top. It's all to the edge, but I don't need that much, because I just need enough to glue the jelly beans on top. I'm taking my spatula again putting it at an angle and twisting my cupcake while swiping the excess frosting off the top and then that little bit we can round off. So there's my cupcake. I've got three here assembled on a corn dish, okay? And now the fun part. We take a nice handful of our jelly beans. Does it matter what order? Well, I like to put them crosswise and I start mm -hmm. in the center of the cupcake and I'm going to go right down the center okay, so of you get all it three. I'll, I'll get it started on the first row. And we're going to end up with about five rows. So then you can start with two rows on either side. And I, as you can see, I'm not. I'm just taking any jelly bean here. It could be a white, white, yellow, whatever. So however the mix ends up, that's how you do it. That's how I you do it. I just want to keep my, okay. my lines straight. So you know what, Alan? I can finish this up. Do you right. want to start making a pat of butter for okay. me? What's corn without butter? So we like to use these uh, soft fruit chews. Right, right. And okay. they come in a lot of different brands, but the Laffy Taffy is a perfect size for this. Mm -hmm. We find the candy that's the right color, already looks like a pat of butter. <laughs> you like that, right? So you cut it to a square, mm -hmm. you use a little bit of the heat from your fingers just to soften the edges. Yeah, and we and use. We also would want to soften it even more. You can pop it in the microwave for no more than three seconds. Karen's got these great little uh, corn, holder. corn holders. Put one on either end. And, you know, we're always like that. One step more, we've got this uh, white and black decorating sugar. Just sprinkle that on top. It's not really necessary, but it just makes it that much cuter. So, there's your corn. There you go. Happy Fourth of July. <laughs>